Biden walks the climate economy tightrope. Biden makes a big plunge on climate action, and the Capitol Police Union reveals more about the January 6 casualties. It's Thursday, and this is your politics type sheet. Sign up here to get on politics in your inbox every weekday. Where things stand, President Biden issues a range of sweeping exclusive order yesterday. Amid at confirmating a climate crisis, forming a action as an equally significant investment in job creation. In one order, he committed to using the federal government purchasing power to order up a West fleet of zero emissions vehicles. This will mean 1 million new jobs in the American automobile industry, he said. He also applied to reserve 30% of federal land and water for conservation purpose and said he would create a civilian climate corps to employ people in conversation work. He ordered a push to new oil and gas lease on federal land and in federal waste waters through that does not put a stop to drilling as of 2019 more than 26 million across our federal land had been leased to oil and gas companies and Biden becomes a first president to mandate that climate change be taken into consideration in all major foreign policies and national security decisions a move that could have a far-reaching impact Earlier in the day, Biden climate enjoy John Kerry announced that the United States would hold international climate change a meeting on Earth Day, April 22. Kerry said that by then he would announce a new set of specific targets as the United States aims to lower its carbon.